Welcome to the Philly 500 NFL Awards, my first annual, where I'm going to tell you who won the awards that I think are important. You may agree with me, you may not agree with me, I don't really care. This is my opinion. So let's go. The first award is called He Stinks Award, and this goes to a guy with hands of bricks and the strength of a kite, and that would be Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar, you stink this year, and here's your stinky award. You stunk, you better practice and get better, hurry up. The next award is what I like to call the best player in meaningless game award. This player comes up big when the game matters the least, and that would be Zach Ertz. He's a repeat offender this award. This would be his third year in a row where he's come up big the last two games of the year when they don't matter. Congratulations for winning when it don't count. Good job. Now, my third award is called the Duh or the Deer in the Headlights Award. And this goes to the person who looks like they don't know what the hell they're doing. Day in and day out, week in and week out, they just look stupid. And that award goes to coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, Doug Peterson. Congratulations! You look like a moron many days on the field doing the same stupid things. Congratulations! You won the Doug Award. Now, let's get to some let's get to some other awards. First of all, I want to start with coach of the year. I had a couple guys I was thinking about, but if you're honest and you take an honest approach to who would have won it, I think you have to be fair and give it to Jason Garrett. Jason Garrett wins coach of the year. He took a team with two rookies and he brought them to a number one seed in the NFC. We don't know what they're going to do, but if you take it for the season, Jason Garrett won that award. Now, my next award is Rookie of the Year Award. I would love to give it to Carson Wentz. I really would, but I can't because he was around stinky team. But he'll be all right. But obviously, you probably know where I'm going to go with this. I say Zeke Elliott was Rookie of the Year. I think he was not only Rookie of the Year, but he is one of my candidates for MVP to league. He made a huge impact with a Dallas team with a great offensive line. And in my opinion, he made Dak Prescott even better than he was. So, now that's not to say he, Prescott's bad. I'm just saying he was helped with Elliott. You can't deny that. Okay. So, my next award goes to Defensive Player of the Year. Now, I thought about this long and hard. And in some ways... I know that my opinion is probably slanted towards what I see every week on an in and out level. But there was three guys that I was considering for this. Von Miller, Khalil Mack, and Landon Collins. I basically am going to go outside the box here, I think, and I'm going to take Landon Collins. I think he was outstanding. I think he was the best safety in the league. I think he was, uh, he could sack, he could cover, he could play the run. I thought he was all over. I thought he was fantastic. And this isn't just because I wanted the Eagles to get him back in, you know, when he came out and nobody listened to me, but hey. Now, my next award goes to the league MVP. The MVP of the league, the player of the year. Important award. I want to get, let me tell you my candidates. My three, well, I had three, really four candidates, but I'll, I'll tell you who I considered Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Matt Ryan, and Zeke Elliott. I took Tom Brady off because he missed the first four games of the year, and it's the MVP of the year. You know what I mean? Most valuable player of the year, not of 12 games. He was suspended. He missed four games. They won games early. He had a great year. He's, he's the best. Tom Brady's the best. 
but I didn't choose him as my MVP. Aaron Rodgers, I did not choose him as my MVP. I think he struggled earlier in the year, and then he came on second half of the year. If this was a second half of the year award, if it started from that point, Aaron Rodgers would have won easily. He, he was, he's been the best player second half of the season. But this encompasses the whole season. So, it comes down to Elliott and Matt Ryan. And in the end, I took Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan is my MVP of the year. He was good all year long. He was fantastic. He threw 38 touchdowns, and he was all over the place. And I think being a quarterback, being who he is with the pressures he had of being a number one pick, the number one overall pick, and people, you know, kind of saying that he wasn't as good as he was, to come out and have the year he had, I thought he was fantastic. And I think he deserves it, and that's my MVP of the year. So thank you for joining. I appreciate it. I'll see you later where I give my peak picks for the division, divisional round. See you later. Talk to you later. Peace.